We're just a little over one day away from the official start of the hurricane season for 2016, but really the season started way back in the first days of January. We had Hurricane Alex affect the Azores, and of course we've just had Bonnie move up the Atlantic coast, producing a lot of rain this weekend. And even with that, uh, the forecasters at the National Hurricane Center are still predicting a normal season, taking into account those storms have already been there, but they're having a hard time finding years in the past that look like the current situation. So this forecast is pretty much an educated guess, and it's a pretty good guess. I think anywhere from 10 to 16 named storms is what they're calling for. Four to eight could be major hurricanes, or four to eight could be hurricanes, and about four of them could become major hurricanes, uh, and some of them could affect the continental United States. Now to look at how the hurricane season might affect us here in the Sun Coast, we really have to look out thousands of miles in all directions. And the biggest weather feature we need to take into account is the near record El Nino we had last year, and it really amplified the subtropical jet. And with those winds blowing across the subtropics, it created wind shear that really suppressed tropical storm and hurricane development across the entire Atlantic Basin. And it brought record wind shear to the Caribbean, and that resulted in no tropical cyclones at all forming in the Caribbean in last year. Well, that's probably changing because El Nino has faded and now we have a developing La Nina, an ocean cooling, and its effects is not as much uh, wind shear and theoretically that could bring more and stronger tropical storms and hurricanes to the Atlantic Basin. And again, we're predicting an, a normal year, at least the experts are, but things are anywhere near normal right now across the Atlantic. We have cooler than normal temperatures in the ocean up in the North Atlantic and warmer to the south. And some forecasters think that could mean a stronger Bermuda high during the summer hurricane season. That would create stronger trade winds off Africa, keeping uh, the little waves that form out there from developing into major storms until they get the Caribbean. So that results in quieter than normal activity across the open waters of the Atlantic. But it's a different situation in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, which some are predicting to be the most likely source area for storms this hurricane season. And the most likely areas to be affected would be from northern Mexico to the Florida Panhandle. That doesn't mean that here in the Gulf Coast and the Sun Coast that we're out of the woods. We still are predicting a normal to slightly above normal hurricane season. So take that into account. Another source area, as we just saw this past weekend with the tropical storm Bonnie, is from Puerto Rico to the Bahamas up could create storms affecting the Atlantic seaboard. So again, that's the latest forecast coming out of the National Hurricane Center. As we can see, we've already had activity, but officially hurricane season begins on Wednesday, and that's when we have our hurricane special right here on ABC 7 at 7 o'clock and, and you'll be part of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bob Harrigan and John Scalzi, Wendy, and I will be here as along with a lot of experts mm -hmm. from the Weather Service and Emergency Services taking your questions. So that's at 7 o'clock between 7 and 8 o'clock on Wednesday night. Make sure you tune in for that. Now, the rest of the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at temperatures across the state at this hour. Pretty much cooling off. A little warm at Tampa, though. Fort Myers 74. Now, down at Fort Myers and Naples, they really got hammered with some storms this afternoon, as did, I know, Northport and Port Charlotte from those storms. Right now at Sarasota at 76, uh, Bradenton at 78. Looking along the immediate coast, temperatures in the upper 70s as well. A lot of areas cooled off briefly from those storms and then warmed back up in a little sticky humidity in the afternoon. Right now at Rotunda, it is 74 degrees as well. Now, speaking of those storms, look, we had the Atlantic sea breeze, uh, sea breeze come in and collide with the Gulf right there, here over Naples in southwestern uh, Florida. And I think the northern edge of that uh, caused the storms to really and uh, amplify around Port Charlotte and uh, uh, Northport earlier. And now we've seen them move up over uh, Mayaka State Park into the northeastern part of uh, Manatee County. And I think for the rest of tonight, there still could be a few scattered showers and thunderstorms, but we're going to be drying out overnight. And for tomorrow afternoon, perhaps with that sea breeze coming in once again, we'll see some additional storms firing up and then possibly blowing back to the coast uh, late in the day and tomorrow evening. So here is the forecast for tonight. Clearing skies overnight, our low temperature is 71 with light winds. Our average temperature this time of year is 70. And tomorrow, a partly sunny day with a 30% chance of afternoon and evening showers and thunder showers, high 89 with a sea breeze 5 to 10 miles an hour in the afternoon. And here's your seven day outlook showing that we'll have that chance of showers and thunderstorms right on through next weekend and the early part of next week. And maybe by this time next weekend, we might be talking about some tropical activity firing up to the south of us. Haley?